it takes a lot of effort to, to build code that runs consistently and works very well, right? And I think the thing that's really, really exciting now is every human is, is going to be able to build way more. Um, and there's so much more to build. And that's, that's, that's what gets me really excited. Yeah, I'm Scott Wu. I'm the CEO and co-founder at Cognition. The thing that's, that's interesting about programming is that it's, it's changed in shape like over and over over the last you know, 50 years. Programming used to be punch cards, you know, <laughs> and people used to, I mean, that was how it was first done, right? Along the way, there were all these different technologies, the internet and cloud and mobile and so on. I'd say as a whole, it's, it's only gotten easier to produce code and to produce real programs. Being able to write code out line by line is one thing, but also being able to understand and interpret logs, being able to navigate and run commands that actually, you know, affect the real world is a big part of programming. This new Model 01 is really able to process and make decisions in a more human-like way. We're getting a glimpse into a new generation of models. We worked closely with OpenAI on iterating on it and giving our feedback and testing it out. What we found was that O01 was just incredible at this kind of reasoning. Uh, I guess I should explain what Devon is and stuff from the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, so, you know, at Cognition AI, we're building Devon, the first fully autonomous software agent. And, you know, what that means is that Devon is able to go and build tasks um, from scratch and is able to work on problems the same way that a software engineer would. And so here, actually, I asked Devon, um, you know, to, to analyze the sentiment of this tweet, uh, to use a few different ML services out there uh, to run those out of the box and break down this particular piece of text and understand what the sentiment is. And so first, Devon will make a plan um, of how it plans to approach this problem. Yeah, and so here, you know, it had some trouble fetching it from the browser, and so then instead it decided to go and um, go through the API and fetch the tweet that way, right? And all these little decisions, you know, things like that happen all, all the time. You can really see here how much this human-like reasoning makes a difference. Finally, it's able to get this all the way through. It says that the predominant emotion of this tweet is happiness. The soul of programming has always been the ability to take your ideas and turn them into reality. And now you're going to be able to do that much faster and cleaner than ever before. <laughs>